Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today, I want to discuss the difference between technical analysis and fundamental analysis when it comes to investing. First, let's ask AI because AI knows everything. I ask on perplexity, explain the difference of technical analysis versus fundamental analysis when investing. First, I think everybody, a lot of people that I encounter online, they're technical people. And I'll explain why. Uh, technical analysis, you're looking at price action, you're looking at momentum indicators, trading volume, support and resistance for sure. And any, anything that'll give you a clue that you're that the crowd is pushing it up. And I think it's easier to use technical analysis because it's in your face. I think it's harder to do fundamental analysis and sometimes it takes longer. So if I go over to a chart and I've been having a lot of fun with perplexity and chat GPT making my own little uh, scripts so I have this script that I just made up recently. And it all it does, it's very simple. It just makes a little green arrow when we break above the 30-day exponential moving average. I like it. So here's an example. NVIDIA. I think NVIDIA is expensive. But my little my little algo script makes a triangle every time it's going up above the 30-day moving average. And you can do this short term. It doesn't really matter. But if you're just looking to speculate and you, you just want a, a shot and you're not going to you're not going to risk a lot of money, this would be a good little script. And you can do this yourself on on perplexity. Paste it here in trading view. And if you look um, when when NVIDIA or Tesla, both of them. When it starts to break above the 30-day moving average, at least that's the one I'm testing, uh, you get a good shot at making a profit. Not every time. Some of these don't work immediately, but most of the time. Better than 50%. If we look at Tesla, anytime we're rising above the 30-day moving average, exponential, it's a good time to be an owner. And waiting for a pullback might be a good strategy. If we're a were below the 30-day exponential and below the 100-day. Those are the better trades, in my opinion. And I, I want to I see a green little bar that confirms that. So that would be considered technical analysis. Buying, once it's rising, once you have volume confirming, that's technical analysis. It, when you're trading using technical analysis, you don't really care about the business long term. You just you're trying to make money today. So that's why technical analysis is so popular. It's very short term focused. Uh, problem with that is you're you're gonna get stopped out quite a bit. You're gonna be usually paying taxes if it's short term money. Uh, if you're doing it in a retirement account or an LLC, maybe maybe you don't care so much. Maybe uh, if you're doing options and you're just taking the short-term gains, maybe you don't care at all and you're willing to pay up on the short-term gains. Okay, so fundamental. For the fundamental analysis, you're treating it like a business. You're looking at financial statements, balance sheets, income statements, cash flow. You're looking at the earnings, revenue, and growth. You're looking at trends, competitive landscape. You're looking at the economic indicators and macro indicators. So for that, you're going to use different tools. I make my own worksheet. So I have a bunch of stocks that I follow. Um, let's say 150 that I've cherry picked. I obviously look at screeners all the time. On this sheet, you'll see Google, Amazon, Apple, Meta, Microsoft, Tesla, NVIDIA, and a bunch of other stocks that I find interesting. 
I'm typically looking for growth stocks and I'm waiting for them to be at a good value. And there's a lot of reasons for that, but that's how you make the most money. Then I get a daily screener and I, I get some estimate of the future values, what they could be worth in the future. And I, I try to hold them for a long time, at least hypothetically, because I don't want to make money just one one time over one month. I'd like to make money every year for a few years if it's a really good trade. The thinking is maybe I'll make 10x in 10 years or maybe I can make make it sooner, but uh, you can make a lot of money doing that. You can make a lot of money and it's really tax efficient. So for example, one, um, let's look at, a, let's see what's a good example. A good example, I'm going to use is uh, SMCI. SMCI has a lot of issues. It's probably not the best example, but I'm going to use it because it'll be a very good lesson in the difference between technical analysis versus fundamental analysis. Recently, uh, SMCI has been crushed. It was over a hundred and something dollars. It went down to as low as 17, but it finally popped up on my fundamental worksheet the earnings yield is attractive it's like the pe but upside down the earnings yield it helps me get a sense of the value but this is this is a business that the earnings to price for this year is 10 percent. so it's probably like a 10 10 10 pe or better now for 2025 because 2025 is coming the earnings yield is 12 percent so would you buy a property, a business, or a, or a house that pay, paid you 12% and had a chance of, of growing 20 30% a year? I think you would. I think you would. So the future, future price potential could be $200, and this is in five years. It could be $300.79, or it can be in a bubble, in the next bubble, it could be almost $600. And the current stock price is 33 Let's go over to the chart. SMCI, I already said financially from a business standpoint, it makes sense. And SMCI did really well over the last two years, let's say, at at the peak. From eight dollars, six to six to eight dollars, it went up to hundred and twenty dollars fantastic technically i mean that was a mini bubble but then some bad news came out there was some bear reports some uh delayed reporting and the the stock went down over 80 percent and that's when it popped up on my business on my fundamental screeners so technically it went from a good chart to a bad chart and technically I'm not getting any bullish signals yet, but I'm I'm gonna get a a, a positive 30, 30 EMA cross soon. It should have already popped up, but technically, technical analysis will now say it's worth buying. So technical analysis will give me a bullish triangle soon. Fundamental value analysis gave me a, a reason to want to buy this in all of these bars when it was beat up. So when technical analysis and fundamental analysis line up together, those are the best times. Now, technical analysis might pay me once, but, but fundamental analysis might pay me every year, as long as the business is good. So uh, hopefully, I have a tiny position in, in uh, SMCI because I don't really trust them. They've got some accounting issues, but I put, I put on a small trade. Hypothetically, you're going to want a bunch of trades anyway. You you want to have 5, 10, even 20 positions because that's how you reduce your risk. I have a position as an SMCI because it popped up on my valuation worksheet. It's going to trigger a technical a technical buy soon. And then the question will be when do I sell it? If you're just looking to be a technical trader, you might have a profit target. You might have a stop loss below the mar- below a recent 
some some level uh, so you can get stopped out as it goes up you keep raising your trailing stop loss but when you're a fundamental investor you might want to wait at least two years to see what can happen as long as the business is sound they're going to keep making profits and that will make the stock more valuable you want to buy a great business when it's beat up and you want to wait for an overvalued price if you're going to sell at all you can hold it for five to ten years and you're going to you're going to see wonderful things happen if you bought a good business so um let's see what's another another thing we can do so that was smci if we look at tesla uh tesla's in a very interesting spot if i go to my my bearish or ignore list based on the stocks that i'm looking at tesla is one of the stocks that i'm not so excited about i know a lot of people are going to be upset but it's just the current price if the price were to come down i'd be very excited obviously because that's how we make money the this list is negative kager stocks or and stocks that make less than 1.25 earnings yield forward basis so Tesla is on there, Palantir is on there. So I wouldn't necessarily short these stocks because they're still wonderful businesses. The price just isn't as attractive when compared to all the other opportunities that I have. So let's go back to Tesla. So we know it's not an attractive stock at a on a fundamental basis at this price. If it were cheaper on sale, I want to buy it. This is more of a premium price. And if you look, um, we don't have any uh, any technical reasons to buy it right now. I want to buy crosses of the 30-day moving average. So I need to wait for it to pull back. Um, it, it, doesn't mean, it doesn't mean there's anything wrong with Tesla. It just means that it's not on sale. People are very optimistic. And I just don't see an entry to buy this right now. Where would I buy this on a fundamental value? Well, last time it was attractive was at least at a hundred dollars, and um, usually at least a three per, a three percent earnings yield would be attractive. Right now, it has a one percent, less than one percent earnings yield. So you can imagine Tesla would have to come down quite a bit for a three percent earnings yield to be uh, to be there. So um, that's pretty much all I have. I, I just wanted to show the algorithm, the script that just pops up a little green triangle anytime a stock is starting to get bullish. Uh, there's some cool ones that I found. Like Ion Q was one that wasn't very attractive on a fundamental basis, but man, it really it showed those bullish signals and then it took off. Oaklo, another one, it showed it showed some bullish signals and then it took off. And then if you, you can use this on crypto too, like Ethereum is starting to show strength. I know Bitcoin is taking off, but I, I can't really touch Bitcoin as far as a new trade um, unless there's a good entry. Let's see. I know people love these crappy coins. Doge. Doge had some buy signals. I have no idea why that popped up. It had a bunch of buy signals and now it's it's going to be in profit taking mode if uh if you like this go ahead and uh let me know if you like this type of stuff this is the script that i'm using if you if you typed into perplexity uh give me a, a buy signal anytime the underlying crosses the 30-day moving average exponential you'll get this code and then you can paste it into trading view and you'll have your own your own script as well and then i like to look at the 100 day moving average as well i uh, hope you found this useful if you did let me know like subscribe and if you have any questions go ahead and put them in the comments cheers